The Saiyans, once a proud warrior race, made a living by conquering planets and selling them. However, most of the Saiyans were wiped out when their own homeworld was destroyed. Only the Prince Vegeta, Nappa, Raditz, and his younger brother Kakarot survived. Now, each of them approaches the Earth, each with a different goal in mind. So this is Earth. Not too shabby. Hey, where's our manners? We should say hello. That's quite enough, Nappa. All right, we need to start looking for those Dragon Balls so we can make our wish. And if you just blew up one of those balls, then this whole trip is wasted, isn't it? Oh, sorry. I guess I wasn't thinking. <laughs>
it. So who goes first? Oh no! What a nightmare! Goku! Where are you? You do! Yeah! Wait, Nappa! This Goku you speak of, surely you don't mean Kakarot. He's a lot stronger than before. He can beat you. Okay, I'll wait a bit longer. Worthless Nappa! Now I have to dirty my hands fighting this weakling. What? What power? Touch my face! <laughs> you felt that one then, huh? Two! <laughs> 
Where we left Goku? It's so bright. Whoa! His power levels are through the roof! I'm going back. Dad's in trouble. I can feel it. I'm not going to let this happen. I have to save him! I'm going to... I'm going to beat you! You beat me? <laughs> well, someone's in a hurry to die. Very well. Say goodbye to your son, Kakarot. <laughs> <laughs> Having successfully fended off the Saiyan Onslaught, Goku opts to spare Vegeta's life. Mark my words, you'll pay for this, Kakarot! You and all of your friends! Krillin, Gohan, and Bulma travel to Namek in the hopes of reviving their fallen friends. Once there, they confront the evil Frieza, who is also searching for the Dragon Balls. Helpless against Frieza's might, they have no choice but to join forces with Vegeta. Meanwhile, Goku has healed and is headed for Namek in a ship built by Bulma's father. His efforts to recover the Dragon Balls frustrated, Frieza summons the Ginyu Force. Can young Gohan survive against the Ginyu Force and Frieza? Will Goku make it in time?
Your legs aren't shaking, are they, Vegeta? It's my turn now. Can you force? Recoom! Ha! Huh, you'd best not underestimate me. Lick this. a lot better than I expected, Vegeta. I can't damage him. He's a monster. Too powerful. It's a weird time to take a nap, but he did say he hadn't had much sleep lately. A huge power level. It's Frieza! What? This planet doesn't have knights? The Dragon Balls are gone, and Kakarot's son, too! I'll blast it all! You think you can outsmart me? You won't get away with this! Wait! I still have one more wish to make! Then you can wish for my immortality, and be quick about it, Frieza's coming! Uh, uh, he's here! This to be easy, Frieza. <laughs>
Time a Saiyan is defeated, he comes back stronger. We have to hurry before Frieza shows his true form. My true form? What a splendid idea! You still have time! Do it now! Please, Sendai, you have to help Vegeta get better. Come on, Frieza. I'm ready for you. I have become a Super Saiyan. Take a good look, Frieza. Your worst fears have been realized. I am now a Super Saiyan. <laughs> As always, your little jokes fail to amuse. Why you? Beat it, punk! Beat it, punk! Eat this! You're finished! Return safely to Earth, thanks to the Namekian Dragon Balls. However, Goku remains on Namek to resolve things with Frieza. The battle is so intense that the planet itself begins to crumble. Thinking there was no way Goku could have survived, Bulma tries to wish him back to life. However, the wish is refused. Goku survived, and he relays a message that he will return by himself. With everyone alive again, Gohan waits impatiently for his father's return.
Almost a year has passed since Goku's friends learned of his survival. Suddenly, a terrible power is felt approaching Earth, Frieza. And without Goku to save it, the Earth appears to be doomed. However, a mysterious youth appears and makes short work of Frieza. When Goku returns, the youth claims to be the son of Bulma and Vegeta from the future. He warns them of a looming threat, deadly androids that will appear in three years' time. Vegeta, those androids seem practically invincible. You really think you have a chance against them? <laughs> More than a chance. Just watch. Ha! You turned into a Super Saiyan. But how? I thought you had to be calm and pure of heart. You know, like Goku. Afraid not. There's more than one way to reach the goal. In my case, it was rage, frustration, desire. These feelings burned within me until I was consumed by them, and I transformed. You can run on home now, little man. You'll only be in my way. Are you ready, Android? I don't think you'll find this next move listed in your databanks. Let me ask you, does a machine like yourself ever experience fear? You Saiyans are far too overconfident. Pride is dangerous if you can't back it up. You're a machine! What do you know of pride? I'll turn you into scrap! Huh. Ah! Yeah! Ah! 
if I'm even doing any damage to this thing or not. I'm surprised. You're far stronger than Dr. Giraud's data reported. Oh, now you want to get in the way too, do you? Okay, I'll play with you a little. I'll give you fair warning. I have no intention of holding back. Yeah. Uh, 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 that's 
Ninja. Get serious. What a surprise. For just a man, you're doing pretty well. And Goku is stronger than you? Ha! He might have been for a while, but now the natural order of things has been restored. Oh, that's too bad. So he must not be very strong at all, because you're not. What was that? Ah! Vegeta, why are you here? Surely not to defeat me. Defeat you? No, to destroy you so completely that not even a molecule remains. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> 
Kong! Disappointed. No, no, this is all wrong. If only, if only I could become perfect. <laughs> so he thinks he can beat me once he becomes perfect. I can't wait to see him try. Perfect cell, huh? You must be pretty angry with me after that beating. Come on! <laughs> Vegeta, will you lend me a hand warming up? Warming up! You're such a disappointment. But I think I'll give you another chance. I'll hold a tournament. Train hard and quickly. Thus, in the shocking conclusion of the Cell Games, Cell is destroyed and peace restored.
However, the price of victory was high. Gohan tries to wish his father back to life, but... I think the Earth will be safer without me. So thanks for trying, everyone. But please, don't wish me back. Trunks returned to the future, and a new age began. Years have passed since the battle with Cell. Now a student in high school, Gohan also fights crime in Hercule City as Great Saiyaman. Hercule's daughter, Videl, threatens to expose him if he does not enter the World Tournament. Hesitant at first, Gohan changes his mind when he learns that Goku will also enter. Vegeta, Gohan's brother Goten, Trunks, Piccolo, and Krillin all sign up as well. But little do they know, the wizard Bobbity is about to launch a plan to revive Majin Buu. I care nothing about Deborah or this Majin Buu creature. Fighting Kakarot is my only objective. I am the prince of all Saiyans. Did you actually think I could be controlled so easily? Bobbity may have invaded my body and mind, but there is one thing a Saiyan always keeps. His pride! How could you let yourself be put under Bobbity's spell? I wanted him to return me to the way I was before. The perfect warrior, cold and ruthless, uninhibited by foolish emotion. I, I should have been the last person to care for a family. I needed Bobbity to reawaken the evil in my heart. And I have to say, it feels pretty good. Do you really believe what you're saying? Kakarot, you have surpassed me at every turn! Me, a Saiyan Prince, a Super Elite! I can never forgive you for that! Never! You would go this far to settle things with me? Very well, let's fight! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Powers rising by the second. We don't have time for this. Then we shall postpone the fight. You aren't concentrating on it anyway. It was my energy that revived food, so I'll finish him. We'll settle this if I survive. Seems to have no weakness at all. I can't win. Trunks, take Boma. Take your mother and escape to someplace safe. I must fight Majin Buu alone. 
No! No way! We'll fight too, Dad! You can't beat him by yourself! Trunks, you are my only son, and yet I haven't held you once since you were a baby. Come here, son. What? What are you doing, Dad? Stop it! You're embarrassing me! Huh? I'm proud of you, son. Take these two as far away from here as possible. I'm counting on you, Piccolo. Huh? You won't survive. You know that. There is one thing I need to know. Tell me, will I meet that clown Kakarot in another world? No. You've too much pain and suffering in your lifetime. When you go, it'll be to a different place than Goku. Oh well, so be it. All right, get out of here, hurry! Majin Buu, I know now what I have to do. I'm going to obliterate you and scatter the ashes to the wind. I do this for Trunks, Bulma, and yes, even for you, Kakarot. I don't believe it. He blew himself to bits so that Majin Buu couldn't regenerate himself. For the first time, Vegeta was fighting for something other than himself, and he made the ultimate sacrifice. What? Impossible! Even reduced to shreds, that monster is somehow regenerating himself! Majin Buu is still alive! I've been sent back to face Boo again. The Boo has only gotten stronger. I'm not sure there's much I can do. This is as close as I can take you. I've got my own safety to think about, you understand? But I'm rooting for you. Don't worry. I'm sure Boo will come to me. Wonder what will happen if he defeats me a second time. Saiyan 3, you made a mockery of me! I'll never fuse with you! Listen, I'm sorry, but I didn't know how long I could hold Super Saiyan 3. It was still untested. No, that's enough of your lies! Nothing you can say or do will make me change my mind! Do you understand? Nothing! Oh yeah? Well, how about this? Vegeta, Trunks has been absorbed by that thing! Vegeta! Go 
Don't just stand there. Give me the blasted earring. Okay, it's on. Now what? Great. Thanks, Vegeta. Vegeta plus Kakarot. Let's see now. I guess you can call me Vegeta. Ha-ha! <laughs> I found them. Huh? Now I'm Super Vegito! Yeah, and... destroys Boo. What? His fusion is worn off. But I thought the effects of the Patara earrings were supposed to be permanent. Who knows what sort of nasty stuff is inside Boo's body? Maybe it dissolved the fusion. Hey, Kekarov, come here. I found Trunks and the others. Great, Vegeta. Now let's tear them out of here and fast. I feel strange. What are they trying to pull? You freed all the fighters I've worked so hard to absorb! Darn it, this could be bad.
So regular attacks have no effect, but I wonder what will happen if we free this fat boo. Stop it! You don't mess with that! I'll lose all that I am! <laughs> it's good that Boo has shriveled up a bit, but now he's planning to destroy the Earth! It can't be! It's too much! There's no way we can block that! The Earth will be... Vegeta, come here quick! We have to use my instant transmission! Hercule, you grab on too! This will mean the end of the Earth! It'll be turned into dust! And Martin Boo will be able to regenerate! You should give your Batara earrings to Goku. If he fuses again, perhaps he can still win. No, we're done with fusion. We tried it, but it didn't work out. No, we need to rely on our individual strength. I agree, Kakarot. Spoken like a true Saiyan. <laughs> Vegeta, let me go first. All right, I want to see for myself what the Super Saiyan 3 is capable of. If you insist, but you might end up losing your turn. Yeah! Shall we finally begin? This is the final battle, the one that will decide the fate of the entire universe. How do you do it? I couldn't even touch Majin Buu, and yet you're able to match him blow for blow! I think I understand now why it is the Prince of All Saiyans has been bested time and again by a low-level soldier. Unlike me, you never fought to kill or for revenge, only to test your limits, to push yourself beyond them. It's such an infuriating paradox, a gentle Saiyan who loves to fight. But the truth is clear. You're better than me, Kakarot. You are the best. Darn it! No matter what I try, his power level doesn't decrease at all. If I only had time to build up my energy. I'll try and buy us some more time. You just start charging up.
his attacks. I, I can't keep up. And yet Kakarot was matching him blow for blow. Just a little longer. Just a little longer, Vegeta. All right. Now I should be able to defeat Boo. Get clear, Vegeta. You fool. Don't concern yourself with me. Just do it. I'll get him to say you just do it. Finish it. Nice one, Hercule. You really are the champion of the world. Of the universe, even. Goku succeeded in defeating Majin Buu thanks to Vegeta's last-ditch defense. And even the Prince of the Warrior Saiyans could not help but welcome peace.